All right, cool. Um, Elliot uh, points out and shares a a tip with us that uh, if you're using the new Monterey betas, uh, they come with the new Safari that gets rid of the whole tab bar. We talked about this in the episode where we had Dave Mark on the show. And uh, you can undo that change, at least in the current betas. And the fact that it exists probably means that it will persist. But, you know, there's no guarantee of future compatibility. Uh, so th- there's a there's a, a post over on GitHub where a user describes you have to create a plist file is really what you do. And then it, so far, and then you reboot and Safari reads that and you're good to go. Um, I also want to point out if you want to test the new Safari, but do not want to commit to running the Monterey betas, you can run the Safari technology preview on your, uh, you know, big Sur based Mac and you get the new Safari complete with its lack of a tab bar and tab groups. And, you know, It's lack of a tab bar inclusion of tab groups, I should say, to be more grammatically clear. But um, but yeah, that's out there. And so that's, you know, freely available from Apple. We'll put a uh, a link to that in the show notes because that it's fun to be able to run that and test things. It's also nice to have like another copy of Safari on your Mac. Most of the time it looks very similar right now because we're in this, you know, transition to a new flavor of Safari. Uh, It doesn't look similar at all. But you get a feel for it, which is cool.